This is Lucknow and my name is Matthew and for the next two days I'm going to try and take you guys to a visual presentation of what we can do and what we can eat all in the next two days. Welcome to the Six Plate. Most of the time you're going to be driving, we're driving down to Lucknow. I, re I recommend strongly, don't rely on the service stations because not, not many of them have your McDonald's, Burger Kings, or your Starbucks, or your Domino's, if that's your kind of thing. They have a lot of local stuff. Don't waste your time with Oyo. Oyo is crap. What you see on the website, it's completely different from what you get. Plus, sometimes, like today, they said, you have a booking, but there's no room available, and the hotel was shit. Use Agoda. It has always been fantastic. We got ourselves hotel shelter in Charbag for about 1,250 rupees a night, which is about 50 to 16 odd dollars. Charbag is great for us as a location. Before we go any further, it's time for us to thank our partners without whom these videos would not be a possibility. With over half a century in Pune, India, Blue Nile is the frontline runner to customer service and great food. Blue Nile probably serves the best biryanis in the world. They have the famous saying and it goes, I cannot make everyone happy, I'm not Blue Nile biryani. The South African big boy Rokamamas is now in India across Pune and Goa. They have shed upon a reputation for great barbecued ribs, great burgers and great chicken wings. If you are lucky, you might get the opportunity to make your own burger in their open kitchen. Now, this is popular. So I decided to do the first breakfast of our tour in Royal Cafe, having the chart basket. You know what really hits me? The tons and tons of flavors in here. Even if I make, make an attempt to tell you what this is, I'm probably gonna screw it up. So no. Wow. Lucknow's food hits different. It's as simple as that. Whenever you guys come to Lucknow, you are, you're always gonna be reading and talking to people and they will always tell you, try the chaat basket. Chaat basket, there's one location that has the best chaat basket and that's the Royal Cafe in Hajrat Kanj in Old Lucknow. And with the founder, you can check him out, the chaat king on YouTube. Bhoot, bhoot shukriya, sir. Thank you, shukriya. Aapka tayad is a swagat aur abhinandan hai maasal Lucknow mein. Thank you, sir. at the Idris Biryani, a 50-year-old joint in Old Lucknow that whoever I spoke to says if you don't have the Idris Biryani, you have had nothing. So inside is a little dungeon that you see, otherwise you see it out here. Man, I'm beginning to really, really, really like Lucknow. Oh, the only place that's got the salt content right now, the chicken korma. Yeah, it's a bit oily, I understand. But you know what? Why not? Oh my god. I don't know how they do it, man, but they've got it fucking spot on. I'm on the street. Street food. I'm at a joint that gives tandoori chicken. Now, all of you guys know. I'm a sucker for tandoori chicken. So I'm trying the food tandoori chicken. Just tell you that Lucknow's food is good. The chicken kebab, tandoori chicken. I'm gonna try the tandoori chicken, guys, yeah? I have nothing to say. Bro. They're fucking magnificent, okay? No, no, no. Very good. location on a char bag in Olak now and 
I love the loyalty the local Lakanvis across all sectors, right? Have towards the food that they give. They have told me that, hey man, biryani is good, karate kebab is good, the chicken masala is good, but if you want to have great fish, go to Chatpati Fish House, right? And I'm here, fish Afghani tikka. It's boneless fish, marinated in cream. You know the food in Lucknow, besides the test pot, taste buds, it also has a lot to do with the aroma. Is the fried fish, again boneless. Come on, everything in this city is good. Come on. The Lagnawi cuisine has a lot of influence from the Mughlai era. They're very popular across the country for their biryani and also what they call the Galawati Kebab. I have traveled the distance to Lucknow specifically for the Galawati Kebab because I hear, I read and I research that it is the best. Now, the street food in Lucknow hits different. And in order to do that, you have to come to different areas of Lucknow. I've been directed to a location known as open air restaurant which is in and around the Tulsi area in and around all Lucknow. I am dying to eat the Galawati Kebab. Dying. Galawati Kebab. I have traveled the distance for this. For this. But I'm going to eat this at the end. On the table, I have mutton stew. Shami Kebab. Chicken Masala. And guys, this is their in-house parathas. Everything cooked right now, fresh as sin. Let's go. We had a couple of people sitting next to us. They said the chicken massage is really good. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Wow. Oh, look at, oh, look at the, oh, look at that. It just breaks in your hand. Look at that, look at that. Or we've been having our kebabs our entire lives completely wrong or I'm going freaking crazy. This is magnificent. Wow. Let's see. The Gilabadi kebab. The Gilabadi kebab, I was just told by one of the people sitting next to me and eating, his wife, that there's a lot of raw papaya used to make the meat tender. Gilabadi technically means that when it hits your tongue, it melts. And they're right. This is a mutton kebab, right? Check this out. Come to look now. If you do this for a day, come eat the street food. Insane. His name is Ayushman. Ayushman, right? Yeah, Ayushman. From Pune? Please yeah. meet you, bro. He comes here three times a year to this restaurant only to have the galuti kebab. Am I right? Yeah. And how is it? I can travel like 300 kilometers just for this. I just love this. I don't come across too many coffee chains in Lucknow. That's why I have to settle for the next best thing, which is the Burger King Americano. It's not bad. I like the coffee. It's extremely bearable. And one thing that I see in common in the state of Uttar Pradesh, we've been to two cities, Agra and now Lucknow, is that they come very close to what we witness in Thailand. You see, when you sit in a tuk-tuk in Thailand, they tell you we'll charge you less a fee, but we'll take you to a couple of stores just take a look, don't buy anything because we get coupons for petrol or we get brand new tires, etc, etc. In the cities of Agra and Lucknow, a lot of tuk-tuks without even telling you. Stop at stores, please sir, please why don't you go inside, just take a look, spend 10 minutes there, we get points. This I have only seen in Thailand across all my travel journeys. I'm very surprised to see it in India, it, 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 it has never happened for us before. So when you're in Lucknow, when you're taking the tuk-tuk to go around, make sure that you're specifically clear that, hey man, don't stop anywhere. I want to go to my destination. After all, we are in the city of Nawab, right? So Lucknow is known for 
whoever you ask around, you're directed to Royal Cafe. Any research you do on the net, Royal Cafe. I came to Royal Cafe. I've ordered the egg burji picture, a scrambled egg. This is how the egg looks from inside, right? Beyond the spice. Either I'm being biased or I am going crazy, but even this burji tastes different, man. So good. has a market known as Aminabad Market, all right now, has a joint known as Tunde Kebabi that serves the gala, Gawalti Kebab, the chicken li, uh, Laziz Sikh Kebab, the chicken masala, and the Tangri Kebab. If you within this Gawalti Kebab, many other joints, right? They were that big. But this place amongst the locals is known as the best place to have these kebabs in the entire state of Uttar Pradesh. This place is like a legend. Look at the size of these. Tunde Kebabi was started by his grandfather in 1905. He's known as Tunde because they didn't have one arm. It's been consistent in terms of the same recipes unchanged for the past 100 odd years, 100 plus years, do the math. And also this, each kebab has 160 different spices. Some locals say he holds a record for being the best Gawalati kebab, chicken masala. It's served by everyone in every restaurant and all of them say we serve the best. But whoever we spoke to, locals, rickshaw drivers, hotel staff, random young kids, all without fail said Tunde kebab in Aminabad market. Man. Legend says the grandfather also didn't have teeth, but he, well, he didn't want to give up kebab, right? Maybe that's the reason why as soon as this meets your mouth, it melts. Unreal. No words to express except none of us have ever had chicken masala before. End of story. This is what you call a chicken masala. Well, I say chicken masala because it's a chicken masala. If you had given it, give it to me, given it to me without telling the day in the name, I would have said a random dish. Wow. Tangri kebab everywhere. Come on. See the masala inside? Can you see the green? Can you see the greenish in there? It's so new for me, man. Wow. Chicken lazizi si kebab. A bit too dry for me. Not a big fan. But oh my god. Inside Royal Cafe, I met this young girl known as Somia, and uh, she hit me up on Instagram later that day and said, why don't you go to Azrak at Le Bois Hotel? It's a good restaurant. I like the fact that she added some value to what we're doing. Hence, I've asked her to join me for the shoot. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining us. Much, much appreciated. Peace out. You're from Lucknow? Yep. Okay. And you're married? Yep. Right? This year. Did you? Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. You known each other for long? Yeah, for two decades. Say what? Two decades. 20 years? Yeah. You guys have been together for 20 years? Yeah, we met in school. 20 years? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Tell me a little bit about luck now. What is your favorite part of your city? Because I tell you what, I Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed your city because I think you guys are spoiled when it comes to food. Right. Especially right. the street food, right? Right. To me, street food is very, very important because it brings in so much culture and texture, etc., etc., yeah. with different tastes. Yeah. So I've done a little bit of exploring as far as your street food is concerned. Yeah. And I really liked it. Yeah. And I also like the loyalty, uh, you Lucknowians, 
show to us the gawalati kebab, okay. right? Yeah. The chicken masala and yeah. your biryani. Because every place we go to, yeah. there's always a chicken masala and a gawalati and a biryani on the table. The aroma is different. The aroma is different. Yeah. What is your favorite? Tell, tell, tell me a little bit about what you like in Lucknow. Well, I would say definitely the chart of Lucknow. Okay. Um, you won't find the chart like you have it in Lucknow. We went to the Chat King. Yeah, Chat yeah, King. Yeah. He's actually, we, we, we met, met there yeah. <laughs> because our Royal Cafe is like the, what would you say, the best chart maker. Yeah. yeah. And um, chart and I've tasted a lot of food, biryani and all, but I like the aromatic biryani in Lucknow, Avdi biryani. And then there's kofta, the malai kofta, how they make the preparation of the gravy. Mm. It's quite luscious and the kind of spices they make. You won't get the kind of food you are getting in Lucknow or Kolkata anywhere else in See, India. I will, I will keep Kolkata for a different day today, right? Yeah. But I'll tell you what, uh, I come from Pune. Mm. So a lot of people say uh, Lucknow with biryani, Lucknow with this and Lucknow with that, right? Yeah. And it's never done justice because when you saw the okay, it's Lucknowi biryani or Lucknowi whatever, mm. you say, wow, it's nice, Lucknowi is the best place. It's only when you come here. Yeah. It's all about the aroma with the food. That you realize. Along with the taste. I agree. Yeah. That you realize it's different. Because one thing that I've noticed, oh, hey, come on, chicken masala is chicken masala. Yeah. Wherever you go, right? Yeah. But the chicken masala that we've been having here, the color is different, texture is different, aroma is different, Spices taste is different, different, spice is different. Yeah. If somebody does not tell me that's chicken masala, I would never think it's chicken. You know, Lucknowis like to make food in the best way they can. So, yeah. Right. That way they would add all the magic they know <laughs> into their gravy. So. Right. Thank you for this. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> Lucknow, also known as the city of Nawabs, and rightly so, because uh, it, it was so wealthy and rich in culture, history, and food. Whether it is the uh, Rumi Gate, also known as the Rumi Darwaza, which was built in 1784, or the Bada Imamwara from the 18th century, or my favorite, the Dr. Ambedkar Park, built in 2008. Phenomenal place. As a matter of fact, I think if Lucknow produced a lot of entrepreneurs, Dr. Ambedkar Park would be a launch pad for entrepreneurs and for lovebirds a stepping stone to knowing each other because it's such a beautiful place. You see, one thing I like about Lucknow is that everything was so grand and open. It was not congested. And no matter where you go in that city, you come from something that is over 200 years old or over 1,000 years old. It was really, really good, really good. As far as the food is concerned, I think they have the country's best food culture, period. Now, whether it is mainstream restaurants or street food culture. Because in Lucknow, what we learned, and you learn really quickly, is that it's not just what goes in your mouth, it's also what you smell, uh, your, your, your nose smells, right? Because aroma plays such an important part in the Lucknowi cuisine culture. And they have some straight down gangster food, man, whether it is the tandi kebab, their uh, chicken masala, or their chaat. The Chat King, Google it, man. Everybody goes there. Whether it's your Hollywood, Bollywood celebrities, everybody goes there. And the Tunde Kebab is legendary, man. It was just good. Like now, in the state of Uttar Pradesh, and Uttar Pradesh also produces some good stuff, right? Agra is in Uttar Pradesh, Varanasi is in Uttar Pradesh, Lucknow is in Uttar Pradesh. What a state. One thing that I love about Lucknow the Lucknowians, is the loyalty they have to each other. It's incredible, insane. I've not seen it anywhere else. Man, you go anywhere in Lucknow, anywhere, talk to anyone and say, you know what, I want to have Gulati Kebab. They without fail tell you Tunde Kebab. Straight up. You say, I want to have the famous Chat, the Chat King at Royal Cafe. Everybody, they're so loyal to each other. That's where the culture has lived for such a long time. Many of them are 70, 80, 90 years old. Really good stuff. Do I recommend Lucknow? 100%. 100%. What a place. What a beautiful place.